Kelvin Castein in a packed parking lot at St. Mary's Academy in beautiful downtown Champlain. It's the 29th day of April. We're here just to take a quick, a quick, a quick look at the fundraiser going on for the benefit of the Save St. Mary's Fund. There's an auction going on inside and it looks like it's been fairly well attended. Some people are leaving. The item or items they were looking to bid on are probably gone. So they're, you notice there were some uh, parking spots that had been filled uh, that are vacant now. One of the items that we know was here earlier, there was a, a Mercury Sable parked in that area there. You see it is gone now. That was courtesy of uh, Grasso's Auto Sales as a reserve auction item. I had to get at least a certain amount, otherwise it would not be sold. But it's gone. I don't know if it's been relocated. Or if it's one of the, I would think it's one of the earlier items that would have been auctioned off. But I don't know that for sure. So we're going to go inside and take a look around and get a little bit of the action. And this will be part of an ongoing look at some of the fundraisers for the Save St. Mary's Fund 2011. Well, we know there was uh, some furniture that was going to be auctioned off. Uh, I know some from Barcombe's furniture and I know some from uh, Bushy's. Not sure what else they may have received. Auctioneer Steve Brody is donating his time for this fundraiser. $10, dollars 10 15 20 oh. 25 25 25 25 25 25 25 25 25 25 25 25 25 25 25 25 25 25 25 25 25 25 25 on a reserve where they have to get a certain amount. There's a concession here. If this auction is successful, and uh, judging from the crowd, it looks like it may end up being successful. If this auction is successful, then uh, it is expected that uh, it would become uh, an annual event, probably held in the fall of the year. This is April 29th, 2011. And it looks like he's got a lot of things to remove here. So this is a very, very impressive uh, amount of items here and uh, the lady who was in charge of uh, putting most most but not all this she had a lot, certainly had a lot of help the lady in charge of putting most of this together Sonia Shivakevich has to be pleased with there she is over there she has to be pleased with the turnout and of course she'll be more pleased with uh, a successful auction a turnout is one thing, but if people don't spend, then, uh, then uh, it won't be successful. My big fear is that uh, my wife somehow ended up in the front row. <laughs> it, could be, it could be dangerous for me. So this is uh, what you missed out if you didn't attend the April 29th auction here at St. Mary's. But uh, it, it certainly looks like the the uh, drive to save St. Mary's at this point in time looks like it will be successful. Look at the appliances over there. 
An organ, a couple of organs, it looks like. Uh, looks like it's going to be successful, the fun drive that is. And uh, it could very well become an annual event. So keep your eyes and ears open and uh, watch for this probably in the, in the autumn. Uh, uh, time of the year. So I don't think we'll cover much more here. We just wanted to get a feel of it. Uh, record this for history. Our next coverage will probably be the fun day at the Town of Champlain offices on May 7th. This is April 29th. Our next coverage will probably be the fun day. Although there are things going on tomorrow, there's a, a Texas Hold'em going on tomorrow, there's a, a whole bunch of things going on. The uh, next one, our coverage will be uh, there for, with the camera, will probably be the fun day. And if so, that should be coming up immediately here on viewer-supported hometown cable.